Psalm 139,19, O oh, that you would slay the wicked. Psalm 139,19, O oh, that you would slay the wicked, O oh God, depart from me, therefore, men of bloodshed. Because of the omniscience of our Creator, God knows the inner workings of the wicked and to the psalmist mind, these provocateurs have openly committed their crimes in front of the judge of judges. According to God's word we know that he is grieved and cannot abide the presence of evil, he has endured them long enough. In these verses, Psalm 139 19-22, the psalmist gives vent to his feelings toward the abysmally wicked and prays that they may depart from him. Earthly judges may have to allow sin to go unpunished for lack of evidence, but this cannot happen in the case of God who knows and sees all, God does not bear the sword in vain, his hatred of sin ensures the recompense of wicked hearts. The psalmist, as should we, appears to be alarmed that he may be tainted by the sin of wicked people. How many people who call themselves by the name of Christ have been swayed by the catchphrase of a woman's right over her own body and by that mantra, they inadvertently endorse the abortion industry and those who murder for money, may God have mercy on their souls. People who delight in barbarous cruelty, selfish ambition, and the murder of the innocent are not fit companions for those who walk with God. It is not improper to eagerly desire the conversion of those whose consciences are burdened with blood guilt, or those who corrupt and are responsible for the pending demise of naive people who are ignorant of God's prohibition against the bloodshed of the unborn. The psalmist appears to be struck with the idea, and rightfully so, that God cannot abide by the wicked in his presence. As God knows everything, he knows them. The people of such character cannot deceive God and are in grave danger of having their names erased from the Lamb's Book of Life.